Hey everyone, it's Talara, and I'd like to welcome you back to World of Warcraft Dragonflight. It has been a while since our last episode of this series. Over six months have passed since I've actually played World of Warcraft, so I'd like to begin by apologizing for my inevitable rustiness when we get into things. Patch 10.2, the next major content patch for World of Warcraft, has launched, and so that's why we have returned to the game. In the meantime, there were a few things added in between patch 10.1 and patch 10.2 that we did miss and that's what I'm going to do for the next couple of episodes before we dive in to patch 10.2 proper which takes us into the Emerald Dream. So before we do that we do have a few things to catch up on. In particular the dragon aspects want to talk to us including the blue dragon Caligos. I love how you can barely see his head from down here. He's just he's way too tall. He says, Greetings, Tarala. While I continue to search for the remaining blue dragons, I could use your aid in another matter. Alexstrasza and I plan on laying to rest the remaining essences of Malagos and Sindragosa. She has held on to their lingering essences after both were slain years ago. Senegos said there was a time where dragons would be laid to rest in the veiled ossuary. Unfortunately, the place is a mess. He's gone ahead to clean the area up with Stilagosa. Could you aid them? We sure can. Senegos should be within the veiled ossuary now. Alexstrasza and I will be joining you shortly. All right. Malagos and Sindragos have both suffered violent deaths in their lifetime. The least we can do is put their remaining essences to rest. So I personally really loved the Blue Dragon storyline in the Azure span here in this expansion. So this is kind of a really cool sort of ending to it all. We get to lay the original Blue Dragon aspect, Malagos and his partner, to rest. So that's what we're going to do here in this Keeper of the Ossuary quest. Um, the real question is, where is the Ossuary? Because <laughs> that's where we need to meet up with Senegos. All right, looks like the the ossuary is up here in the northern part of Theldrassus. So, I guess we get to go for a dragon ride. As I mentioned, I have not played Dragonflight in a while, so getting back into it is both exciting and a little bit nerve-wracking, because I'm like, oh god, I don't remember how to do anything. But I'm very excited to be back. This expansion has been a blast. It has truly reignited my love for World of Warcraft, and I probably shouldn't have taken as big of a break as I did between patches, but anyway, here we are. We're back. I don't have time to do whatever quests you want me to do, ma'am. I gotta go to Malagos' funeral. Leave me alone. <laughs> All right. Here's the Lethgar Academy, which means we should be almost where we need to be. Veiled Ossuary, here it is. Just a short dragon ride away. Father, surely you could rest and leave the cleaning of this place to someone else. Allow an old dragon a bit of nostalgia. I used to be the keeper of this place when I was younger than you. Hello? The blue dragon flight is but a shadow of its former glory. That's true, but you're taking the steps to restore it. I appreciate your patience, Tarala. I'm sure we'll get this place cleaned up in no time. I'm here to help you, Senegos. Can you tell me more of this place? The Veiled Ossuary is where we used to bury our dead. Us dragons live quite a long time, but old age does eventually take us all through all, though the aspects play by different rules. I imagine Caligos told you he plans to put the rest of the last essences of Syndragosa and Malagos. Well, we can't do that if the Veiled Ossuary is a mess now, can we? I'm ready to begin helping you clean the Veiled Ossuary. There is great power within you. Use it wisely. Shall we begin? Yes, sir. 
Ah, uh, the Veiled Ossuary. I was given the task to be a sort of gravekeeper, which included keeping wildlife away from the area. I had a rather fun spell split up within several tomes kept within this place to deal with such pests. The other blue dragons did not approve of my reckless methods, so I had to keep the tomes hidden. Here, allow me to cast a spell on you to grant you the sight to find these old tomes. Once they are all gathered, we can cleanse this place of the invasive wildlife. May the wisdom of the titans guide you. Well, I'm ready to re receive the spell to find your arcane tomes. Just give me one moment. Ah, the spell seems to have fizzled out. But I won't make you wait on this old dragon. Stella Gosa, could you aid our friend? Of course, Grandfather. I remember it well. Whenever you're ready, friend. It Hit is me. good to see you. I'm ready to receive the spell to find Senegos's arcane tomes. Fair skies and strong wind. There you go. The trail should be quite easy to follow now. I'll help Grandfather get to the next location. Thank you, my dear. Champion, we'll be able to see what you see with this spell. Oh. Uh, quite handy for extra commentary. Extra commentary. <sighs> I may have put too much power into that spell to save young Kalagos from Razageth. It's taking quite some time to recover. Well, you catch your breath and I'll go do what needs to be done. So I guess we just need to follow these sort of wisps, if you will. There is certainly a lot of bugs in here. They don't seem aggressive, though. They're just letting me go through. So I'm not sure if they're really part of the cleanup efforts. I guess the spell will really help us clean them up. Ah, and here are some aggros. Dark Claw Scythids. First battle down after six months away from the game. It's probably dangerously low, but we did it. Here's a tome. Tome of Fanciful Spheres. Got some dragon bones in here. I guess it makes sense that this is a graveyard. These ancient halls. In the old times, blue dragons would claim a small location in the ossuary where they wish to have their remains sent. Oh, we nice. used Dragon Blight in Northrend as a final resting place when it was impossible to return to the Isle. Oh, interesting. Okay. That was a backup graveyard in Northrend. Just following the flashing lights. Here they are, leading me to another tome. Did he say how many tomes there were? Guess we'll find out. More bones in here. Those who could make it back here after Neltherian nearly wiped us out passed within these halls. I was ordered to leave their remains undisturbed. That's where the bones the came from. Remaining gravekeeper after that. Given the task to update all the graves before we departed. Man, there are so many bugs. Skittering bone borers are what they're called, so I guess maybe they eat bones. I guess that's why we definitely need to clean this place up. Rather than getting me to take care of the bugs one by one, we've got a magical solution, which I don't hate. Tome number three. Tome of sticking. Younger, more rebellious then. They gave me the gravekeeper role as a way to teach me responsibility. It wasn't until the War of the Ancients that I took it seriously. That's fair. You didn't have any reason to until you saw how bad things could be. All right, I think that's all the tomes. Three of them, in fact. And so let's go return those to Senegos. 
I see him up ahead. Hey guys. I think I got them all. Come closer, little one. Did you find my old tomes? I sure did. Here they are. Here they are. I'm glad some things have survived all of this time. I remember having so much fun rolling these creatures up with my spells. Unfortunately, I fear these old bones will not let me move as quickly as I once did. I would love for you to give it a shot. Let me live vicariously through you. The more creatures you roll up, the bigger the ball becomes. The bigger the ball, the bigger the creature you can roll out. Speak to me and I shall give you my special arcane ball to roll up the creatures around here. Dragon flights will rise again. All right, uh, I'm ready to use the arcane ball to clean up the veiled ossuary. Oh my god. I literally just have to roll over the bugs? What? This is one way to clean them up, I guess. Okay, so we can only grab the little ones with this ball. We need to avoid the big ones. They just knock me off my path. <laughs> this is hilarious. I did not realize this is what he had in mind when he said he had a spell to clean up the bugs. Oh, and now that the ball's big, I can pick up some of the bigger bugs. I see. Grandfather, this seems highly inefficient. <laughs> Don't you have spells to clear the creatures out instantly? Oh, my dear Stelagosa. When you live as long as we do, you must sometimes favor enjoying life over being efficient. Okay, so this is all a game. I admit the charm is growing on me a bit. We're really sucking up these bugs. We can get the big ones now, too. This is kind of cool. I guess if you gotta do some bug extermination, you may as well make it slightly enjoyable. It is kind of soothing to see them all get sucked up. Bring the ball closer to the top two entrance and launch it into the sky. Okay. Boom! That's it? Where are they going? Outer space? <laughs> Yay! Look how clean this place is now! We really did our job! Bugs were launched. Uh, if the blue dragons frowned upon your ball escapades, why were you allowed to continue doing it? Malagos was quite amused by it. He even joined me a few times, when time allowed it. And when he was a much more light-hearted aspect. Fair. I am the old Fine work! Ah, to be young again. The we will be joined shortly by Caligos and Alexstrasza. Before then, I have a request. There was a tradition to have gravestones set before your death. It allowed you to choose where you would rest when you passed. It was the job of the caretakers to update the gravestones and deposit the lingering essence of Arcana at the site. Before our guests join us, would you help me in this task? Take this list and these graves, update the existing graves, and place the new ones. Do what? Grandfather, why are you still tasked with updating these graves? Surely it should go to younger drakes. Young Calagos was insistent I rest, but I have been waiting for a very long time to return here and clean this place. These graves deserve to be updated. It is not good for the dead to be left without rest. Really has changed from all those years ago when he first got this job. He's taking it way more seriously. This should be the last one that needs to be updated. Done. I believe we can help each other. It's been so long since I've seen these halls. Can you tell me more about Malagos? Of course, the Malagos that you may have heard was the former aspect of the Blue Dragons. His mind was broken when the majority of our flight was slaughtered by Neltharion 10,000 years ago. Not so long ago, Malagos came to his senses and promptly sought to destroy all mages within Azeroth, believing they had no right to wield arcane power. Unwilling to change his mind, he was killed. Sometime later, young Caligos was chosen to replace Malagos as Aspect. But before the madness, before Naltharion, he was jovial, kind. Malagos and Zindragosa had many large gatherings within the Azure Span. I miss those days of levity when laughter echoed in the mountains of the Azure Archives. 
Neltharian ruins so much. It's really sad. Thank you, Tarala. I believe we are prepared for our guests to arrive. May the wisdom of the Titans guide you. The preparations are now complete. Caligos and Alexstrasza should be here soon with the remaining essences of Syndragosa and Malagos. Both suffered such violent ends. I heard even with his last breath, Malagos cursed Alexstrasza. And Syndragosa, she was slain 10,000 years ago by Neltharion by Deathwing. Yet she was reanimated by the Lich King and slain by adventurers. I can only imagine the state this essence is in. Forgive my ramblings. Caligos and Alexstrasza should be here shortly. I believe it is time for a nap. Well, let's nap it up and await their arrival. Here they are now. Greetings, Caligos. And to you, Lifebinder. Ah, oh, Senegos. I saw the remnants of your arcane ball. I am heartened to see you have not forgotten your old ways. Caligos, you may do the honors to lay the essences of Malagos and Syndragosa to rest. Thank you. Syndragosa, Malagos, I am sorry it took us so long to give you this piece. May you have the rest now you were robbed of in life. I'm glad they finally get a chance to rest. Like Senegos just told us, it was truly a sad story what happened to Malagos. There's magic in everything. Thank you for aiding Senegos, Tarala. It's time to return to the archives. Come watch yourselves. Uh oh. The essences seem to be emitting some strange arcane energy. It was not uncommon for powerful blue dragons to have their memories reanimate in this way, once they were put to rest. Stella Gosan and I can investigate this. I believe you have more of our kind to locate, correct? Okay. Can I help? The blue dragon flight is but a shadow of its former glory. I admit I forgot about this phenomenon. Blue dragons who meet violent ends occasionally have some lingering arcane energy. That energy may manifest in various ways once their essences are laid to rest. Luckily, it is a simple enough process to dispel them. Simply wave anything through the energy and it will dissipate. I shall investigate the essences of Syndragosa and Malagos within this gravestone while you handle that. The How strange. Are these remnants from Malagos and Syndragosa's past? Wow, look. It appears they were unable to truly depart from this world when they were slain. I saw many strange phenomena such as this when I laid to rest the blue dragons that made it back here from Neltharion's betrayal. It was a tragedy that so many were killed, including Syndragosa. Even then, the Lich King allowed her no rest. It pained me to see her raised into undeath. I could not believe it when word reached my brood of what happened to her. It is a small blessing that she did not linger for long in such a state. Sifragosa and Malagos both deserved better. <sighs> I hope now we have given them their proper rest. I hope so. See you guys later, because I'll deal with the memories. First up is Memory of a Betrayer. This is Deathwing himself, Neltharion. You see the image of Neltharion, the former Black Dragon aspect. Memories begin to flash as if it were your own. You were suspicious of Neltharion. Malagos trusted him. They fought Galcaron together. Together they saved Azeroth. Who were you to go against that? You put aside your suspicions. It was paranoia to believe an aspect could become corrupted. And yet it happened. You cursed yourself when the fighting began. You should have taken a stand. You could have stopped this. This all happened because of your inaction. Syndragosa, the Azure Queen, would be no more. Swing your weapon to dismiss the image. The image stubbornly refuses to be dispelled. Instead, more images appear in your mind. You're gravely wounded. Before you lost your sight, you saw the blue dragons wiped out in an instant. You're flung into the cold reaches of Northrend, far from your home in the Azure Archives, far from your intended resting place in the Veiled Ossuary. Perhaps you could reach Dragonblight, find your rest there. You call out for your love, Malagos, but he doesn't answer. You realize there will be no rest. 
You are alone. Love for the world of mortals is replaced with hatred before everything fades. Use your full force to cast aside the memory. Next, we have the Lich King and his minions. As you look at the figure, the memories associated with associated with it flood into your mind as if they were your own. You are risen from the dead. There's a figure, the Lich King. He knows your name is Syndragosa. You are bound to his will. The once vibrant personality you had is gone, replaced with hatred and bitterness. Hatred towards Malagos who abandoned you. Bitterness towards the world that betrayed you. Is this what you've become? Where does the Lich King's will end and Syndragosa's begin? Swing your weapon to dismiss the image. The memory does not go away, and instead more flashes fill your mind. Abominations testing your strength, torturing you, preparing you to fight the enemies of the Lich King. Adventurers surrounding you, wielding their pathetic magics against your might. You are eventually destroyed, but not fully. Your essence was entrapped within crystalline form and handed to one named Caligos. You scream in fury. They believe you are at peace. They do not know you are stranded. Once again, no one is coming to save you. You are trapped for eternity inside this crystal. Just as you believe the memories end, it begins again, rising from the dead, full of hatred. Use your full force to cast aside the memory. And one left. Memory of a traitorous sister. You feel memories begin to seep into the corners of your mind. It feels as if they were your very own. Cast out from your fellow aspects, the great Malagos left alone to protect Azeroth from mortals. The others do not understand what you've been through. You are at the forefront against Eltharian. You lost everything. Syndragosa, your flight, your very mind. Yet you still sought to save Azeroth from itself. And for that, your once beloved sister helped lead a band of adventurers to slay you. The image does not vanish, but instead fills your mind with more images. A battle, destruction of your very self, the sadness of your fellow aspects at your death, yet a small part survived. They called it the Heart of Magic. They did not know it still contained the last of your essence. You feel regret seeing the faces of those you once loved. Perhaps you were the one who betrayed them. You do not have long to dwell on this as the memories return to violence. Death, destruction, torment, that is all you know now, and there is no escape. The mortals and aspects must pay for their actions. All right, we've dispelled all of the memories. This is so cool. For anyone who's played World of Warcraft since the Wrath of the Lich King expansion, this is almost a, a finale or, or closing the chapter on a lot of those storylines that we experienced in that um, expansion. It's been a long time coming, but finally the Blue Dragon Flight, or the leaders of it at least, can I rest. The oldest of my kind. That should do it. Though it is odd, not all of the memories were dispelled as quickly as I had hoped. Let us speak with Caligos to let him know we should keep an eye on this. May the wisdom of the Titans guide you. It is not unusual that Malagos and Syndragosa would have such powerful memories. From what I understand, their deaths were particularly painful, both slain by adventurers. It breaks my heart to think of Syndragosa enduring death not once, but twice after being raised by the Lich King. But enough of this old dragon's rambling. Stelagosa and I will meet you back at the Azure Archives. There is great power within you. Use All right. it wisely. Let's go meet up with Caligos and the rest of the Blue Dragons. All right, here we are back at the Azure Archives. So let's find Caligos, who I assume is probably up here somewhere. Oops. Caligos, is that you? Yeah, there he is. Right over here, next to these other blue dragons. Naragos, Endorgos. Ah, yes, and there's Senegos and Stelagosa. Hi. This world is full of wonder. Thank you for your help, Tarala. As you can see, more blue dragons have arrived, yet some are still missing. We cannot forget about them. I will also ensure we find out more information about this strange phenomenon with Malagos and Syndragosa's memories. Fair skies and strong winds. Many blue dragons have returned, and many others have informed me of their plans to make their ways to the Isles. There are a few key members of the flight, however, that I have not heard from. One of them may be able to help. Azergos, stationed within the Nexus in Northrend. You, myself, and Syndragosa will travel to meet Azergos. He has ignored all of my attempts to contact him from afar. Thanks to the Oathstone being empowered, Syndragosa can now travel further than ever before. Flight. I am quite curious. 
to meet this Azuragos after all you have told me about him. He would have been a boon had he answered our original call for aid. I was hoping that uh, we would get a portal to go there because Northrend is quite far away. You can see we got the loading screen of Wrath of the Lich King. This is all your fault, isn't it, Calicos? It's absolute chaos here, and you just happen to show up to make things worse. Azure goes. You shall cease this behavior at once. Show respect to your aspect and inform us of the situation you find yourself in. Tell him, Syndragosa hologram. Lady Syndragosa? Ah, greetings and whatnot. What do you want? I had plenty to keep me busy in the Nexus before all of this. Going so soon. Perhaps Caligosa's timing is not as bad as I thought, especially if he has the simulacrum of Lady Syndragosa with him. Do take care out there. Of course, I can help track down the missing blue dragons. However, I have a mess on my hands that must be addressed first. Moments ago, several bursts of arcane energy swept through the Nexus, followed by attacks of strange arcane creations. I can create a method of tracking down the blue dragons if you can pull down the locations of this wild arcana. Take this staff, do not break it, and use it on three locations within the Nexus. Oh, and prepare yourself for a fight. My, I apologize, Lady Syndragosa. I did not realize I was in the presence of your simulacrum. I have heard much of you from Caligos, young Azuragos. Oh? And how did our mighty aspect describe me? I told Syndragosa you're a recluse, stubborn, and prone to cutting ties with any who slight you. But I trust <laughs> you to aid me in being the aspect the blue dragons deserve. I called for your aid in the Azure Span, but you did not answer. I called for you when the Oath Stone was activated, but you ignored me. You may never believe in me, but I need you to believe in your flight and help us find the others who are missing. I will do what I can. Now, do you know what is happening here? Judging by the remnants here, I believe we're still seeing the after-effects of putting Syndragosa in Malagos' essences to rest. Senegos mentioned this was an uncommon circumstance, but it appears its effects are more widespread than we thought. Yeah, truly, you can see all the memories are still here. Alright, let's see what we can do, I guess. It's been a while since I've been to Northrend. It's pretty cool, actually. Not sure how far away these disruptions are. Might be worth my while to soar. Here's one. Now we have to fight. All right. You did it? Nope, not yet. There we go. Alright, one down. Guess the rest are probably in here by the looks of things. Wow, this place is pretty cool. There's the other disruption, or one of the others. There's two left. Let's wait for people to come and attack me. Any more reinforcements? Anyone? Yep, there we go.
All right. Southern disruption is contained. One left. the second wave. Oh, there you are. I need to target something Done. first. All right. Let's go back and let our friend, should we call him a friend? Well, Caligos is our friend. We'll let Caligos know that we're done. Because <laughs> I could confidently say that he is a friend. I've done what I can to create a method to find the other blue dragons. You have my thanks, Azuragos. The arcane disruptions have also calmed down for now, thanks to our friend. Who, me? Well, if it isn't... You... Yeah, me. Well, things appear much calmer now. I suppose I'd better investigate how widespread these wild memories will become. Going so soon. Pity. I've crafted a magical globe to help you find the remaining blue dragons. It should give you their rough locations. Now go. On top of everything else I was working on, I must now investigate these memories that attack the Nexus. I shall get to the bottom of it. My, look at the time. Thank you again, Azuragos. Keep me informed of anything you find regarding these memories. I must focus my efforts in finding the other blue dragons. You will be the first to know of how much of a burden you have pushed on to me. God, this guy is real cranky, but isn't he? Goes, a word of advice, if you would hear me. Lady Sindragosa, I would be honored to hear your words. I know why you seclude yourself in the Nexus. You look to break the barriers of our realms, to find the one you once loved. To bring one that belongs in another world, to the world of the living. I had hoped when the gateway to the Shadowlands opened, I would find a way. But all I have are more questions than answers. What you wish is impossible, Azure Ghost. If you continue to search for answers alone, your love will turn to bitter hatred, both for the one you care for, and for the world that refused to give you the answers you seek. Seek aid in your fellow blue dragons. You may never find your answer, but they will help mend your heart. Thank you, Lady Sindragosa. I shall carry your words with me for the rest of my days. The real question is, is he just going to carry them or is he going to listen to them? Guess we'll find out for now. Let's portal back to the Azure Archives. Back to Dragonflight. These ruins are teeming with magic ley lines. Okay, ma'am, I just got back. I don't want to do your random side quest. <laughs> Here is the globe, aka the Dragon Locator. Hopefully Azuragos will join us later. In the meantime, we have the whole of Azeroth to search. Good luck. Azuragos has narrowed down the locations of the missing blue dragons. Each of us will handle finding several of them. I wouldn't trust you to aid us in finding a few others. Choose where you'd like to go first. Whoa, is this gonna bring us on a globe-trotting journey? Holy moly, it is! Look! This is so cool! Okay, um, I want to go to Theramor. Investigate a cadre of rogue mages in the ruins of Theramor. So Theramor um, was a city built by Jaina Proudmoor, meant to be sort of a foothold of the Alliance on the other continent. Caligos actually was really involved with helping her build that city, and unfortunately it was completely destroyed in a terrorist attack taken by the Horde. 
this led to Jaina really, really hating the Horde for a long time after having a special friendship with Thrall for so many years. She's come back around now, but uh, she was the TLDR. She was really angry for a really long time. According to Azuragos' notes, the blue dragon Suragosa was last seen investigating a sect of rogue mages known as the Sullied Banner. Suragosa's last missive stated that she intended to travel to the ruins of Theramore. Perhaps she uncovered traces of the Sullied Banner there. Either way, if Suragosa is to be found, Theramore seems to be the best place to search for her. Hopefully, Caligos will make another portal for us. Theramore? I would rather not return to that place, but if Suragosa is there, then perhaps there is work to be done. So long as there has been magic, there have been those willing to utilize it for nefarious ends. Not certain what grievances these rogue mages hold that has prompted Siragosa to chase them down, but I am inclined to trust her judgment on the matter. Let us go to her, Tarala. Perhaps we can solve this rogue mage problem and convince Siragosa to return in a single turn. Together, Theramore, of all the places to go, Azurago said in his notes that he intended to seek out Siragosa himself. If the situation is truly so dire, and I shall accompany you on your way. It would be wise to avoid getting too close until we are apprised of the situation. This portal will take us to the cliffs just beyond Theramore. All right, sounds good to me. Well, there you have it, folks. We are deep into this Blue Dragon's quest line now, which is pretty cool. It's going to take us all over the world in search of the other Blue Dragons. And I'm going to call it a day there. This was our first episode back to our World of Warcraft series in quite a while. So I want to thank you all for joining me. It was really fun to get back into the world. I've still got a lot of rust to work off, obviously. But we're going to continue to make our way through the quests and then eventually end up in the brand new storyline that is Patch 10.2. In the meantime, thank you all so much for watching, and hopefully I'll see you guys back here again soon for some more World of Warcraft.